Most of the skilled workers here in the Gambia are foreigners and their dominant is massive. Now from carpentry to welding to auto mechanic, you name it. It's, other, it's either the Nigerian or the Senegalese doing it. Now this total dependency on foreigners for these essential services has raised concern of sustainability and our independence as a nation. So the Gambia government wants to slowly put an end to this and through the Ministry of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology will now spearhead a drive to bring technology and vocational education and training to doorsteps of many Gambians. Now details of that in this report by Mafuji Sise. We all depend on skilled workers to either make or fix our broken stuff. Here in the Gambia, the vast majority of skilled workers one finds along the road sites are foreigners. They are either Senegalese or Nigerians. There are few Gambians in these domains, which is why the government wants to put more emphasis on technical and vocational education and training, otherwise known as TVET. Speaking recently at the graduation of young Gambian journalists, the Higher Education Minister, Professor Pierre Gomez, revealed plans to regionalize TVET across the country. He says the government is doing everything possible to include the country's only skilled training center, the GDTI, to be part of the University of the Gambia and create more openings for young Gambians. Mohas considers technical and vocational education and training TVET as essential for its positive impact in harnessing the youth dividend and improving employability for sustainable economic development. There is a, need, there is a new paradigm shift in TVET based on the Ministry's transformation agenda. Currently, you said that is the University of Applied Science and Technology is up and running, preparing to produce homegrown engineers for the very first time in the history of this country. This is Mr. Mbai Gay at work. He is Senegalese but has spent most of his life here in the Gambia, where he learned his welding skills after first completing his chronic education. He tells iAfrica that training for skilled work can be hard, but with patience and dedication, one could become a professional. Those two qualities of patience and dedication, he says, is what is missing in a lot of Gambians. He goes on to say that for some reason, Apprentices who are eager to start earning money simply down their tools and live on their own accord to start their enterprises even before they have been cleared by their masters. This, he says, usually leads to sometimes fight with customers due to poor quality jobs done by these semi-professionals. As a final word, what I want to leave with you is that let governments allow their children to learn skilled work. If you go to Senegal, you find that every child, no matter how young, is encouraged to learn one skill or the other, and their bosses also encourage them. If the kid fail to appear for one or two days, they go to their homes to inquire as to what the problem is. If the child is a doctor, the parents will sort out the issue, but if children are left all by themselves, then their future may be complicated. Zakaria Suare is Gambian and elder. He was keen to tell I Africa that there is a slow change in perception now as more and more Gambians are taking on skilled work. He even bought of having apprentices that are university students. My name is Zakaria Suare. I love welding work since I was a child. I enrolled in school for a few years, but my mind was always into welding, then on formal schooling. I have been in this profession for many years. I was taught welding by Mr. Bubakar Bhatt. 
at the Gambia Technical Training Institute. He is now retired, but I am praying that he has a long life and that he may be blessed. Many people have passed through the hands of Mr. Babukar Bayo, and from what he has shown us, we are also now showing it to the young ones. We are willing to teach anyone who wishes to take welding as his or her career, just as the way Mr. Bayo taught us. I am calling on young people to strive and work hard to enter technical vocation education or skills training. It is not easy, but one has to have a career through which one's family may benefit. I have lots of apprentices here, and some are even going to school. Some of them come to the workshop when they close from school and stay up to seven in the evening, whilst others that are going to the afternoon shift will come in the morning. Some have this notion that office workers earn more money, but in reality, earnings from skilled work are hidden, but much more than office work. What the skilled worker can get within a day, the one working in the office cannot earn the same even in 15 days. And what the skilled worker can spend within a day, the one in the office cannot do the same. What the skilled worker can contribute to society, family and close relations, it's a lot. This is the best job ever that all and sundry should yearn for, and far better than office work, which is based on luck. Many people have gone to school but cannot find work for themselves. We are calling on all to come and learn skills. I am calling on the young people to venture into skilled work. It is the way for self-employment. Some of my students here have university degrees, but they are here with me to have welding skills as well. This will only be an added advantage in their lives. The mandal mangi nyanda wii na nduga si meche wa ak meche bunnek na ko nan ko lefim bunne ser ne li rek moy am hal si wala li rek meche mom wo duga rek bo si farlo rek yalla na la ci jappal wa as at present zakaria has well over 20 apprentices he hopes more and more young gambians will take interest in skill work and contribute their quota to national development mafuji sise ay african news